What's up catfish fans? Not fishing in this one, but coming to you with what I hope is a helpful tip. Um, I figure some of you probably have the same problems that I have when it comes to high speed internet. So I live out in the middle of nowhere. High speed internet has been a struggle for me for years. Um, I'm current or I was currently using HughesNet, but I've tried them all. I've tried everything. I've tried cell boosters. I've tried all the satellite company, you know, internet providers. Um, or not all, not, up until now, I had tried what was available, which in my area was Viasat and HughesNet. Um, so just recently I purchased Starlink, just the standard package. It's a little pricey up front, uh, but I don't feel like this anymore. You know what I mean? That right there was the exact feeling I got every time I tried to upload a half hour YouTube video and it took three hours, you know. Um, man, with Starlink, uh, so far, I've, I've had it for almost a week now, I guess. It is unreal. I, I'm Compared to what I've had, what I've seen, I'm gonna throw some speeds up here. This right here will be a speed from uh, the first day I installed it. This was before the five hours. So when you install it, it tells you it'll take it about five hours to gather, you know, I guess all the satellite signal that it's gonna be able to gather. But that right there was the speed up until then. Um, after 24 hours, I was seeing speeds like this. Uh, and it's been consistent as now it does fluctuate don't get me wrong it fluctuates but it has been spot on uh so just to give you an example with HughesNet, when my data would start over i had about a day and a half to maybe two days that i could watch like netflix or youtube or whatever um on cell phones tv whatever and then it's fuzzy, the little circle, y'all know what I'm talking about, in the center of the screen spinning around. It was just junk, man. And I've been putting up with HughesNet for, I don't know, about six years now, I guess, because it was the best option that I had. Uh, it was just the best option available to me. Man, Starlink knocked it out of the park. Um, I don't know if it'll stay like it is now. I hope it does, but as of right now, it's awesome awesome um just to give you an example i went from constantly buffering trying to play a youtube video on my tv to last night i turned on a youtube video on the tv we fired up a laptop got a youtube video going on it and we had three cell phones consecutively all of these things playing youtube videos at the same time none of them ever cut out none of them ever got blurry i haven't seen buffering it's awesome it's just awesome. Uh, so far, I'll throw that in there. Uh, what I really like about it is it came with a base for the dish. It's, it's super simple. It's the dish, I'll throw it up here, um, and the router. And then you've got a cable coming from the dish to the router, and you've got the power cable, of course, for the router. But if you want to pack up and take this with you, all you do is unplug the power cable. It came with a base for your dish that can set out on the ground and you can take it with you wherever you want to go. Uh, so you've got high speed internet anywhere you want to go. From what I've seen of it, I, I've got, I was all over YouTube looking at review videos and whatever, but from what I've seen of it, as long as you've got a decently clear view of the sky, which I do, I've got trees all the way around my place, but right above the house, I've got a good clear view of the sky and that's where I mounted it. Another, so I'm getting ahead of myself. I mounted it there so far outside of that tree coverage. I'm getting great signal. What I really like about it is that dish, it actually moves to, to stay in contact with the satellites and give you the best possible signal that's available for, for your area. I've sat out there, I've watched it move, I've watched it lock back on, I get on the app on my phone, watch it lock back on the signal, run the speed test, and it's cranked right back up. During this, while it's doing that, I haven't lost any signal, so, so far, still good there. But uh, if you're having this problem, this is my whole reason for making this video, is to let you know Starlink Internet is amazing. I cannot believe it. I struggled for so long 
especially this channel is a big part of my life now. I mean, I'm cranking out a video. I try to crank out a video a week. Um, so high speed internet is a must for me. And I've been struggling with it since I started the channel, but so far, no more. All my struggles are over with Starlink. So if you've been on the fence, if you live out in the middle of nowhere and you, you're in the same situation I was in, you just can't find that high speed internet provider that's reliable. I would suggest that you try Starlink. Uh, the standard package, it runs you about 700 bucks for the equipment. Um, and then it's $120 a month. What it's done for me, I was paying $260 a month for my internet and my dish network. Uh, what I'm going to do after I let this run for a couple of weeks and make sure it's going to stay like it is now, I'm going to shut dish network and the huge net off. I'm going to save $260 a month by doing that, which I'll have to turn around and pay the $120 a month, uh, provider fee from Starlink which I'm still saving money. So it'll take me no time to pay off that $700 that I spent initially on the equipment. It's a no brainer for me, win-win every way I see it. Uh, I'm gonna just signal test it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing and I'm gonna come back in about three months with a review, a follow-up video and uh, let you know how it's working then. But as of right now, it is spot on. I appreciate y'all for watching. Uh, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see y'all in the next one.